In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the Elementor add-ons and widgets plugin. This is a free plugin that you can use with the paid or free version of Elementor. And what it does is it gives you more drag and drop options that you can use on your Elementor pages. And with the free version, if you have the free Elementor version, you can actually get some of the premium functionality for free using this plugin. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you're not yet subscribed, consider subscribing because I'm always sharing new tricks, new WordPress tips, tricks, and hacks, and stuff to make your life easier using WordPress. So click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like Elementor, you're gonna like this. I'm currently building the Ultimate Elementor course. It's gonna be a bargain. There's a link down below to get on the waiting list. So click on that link, get on the waiting list, and you get more details while you're on there. And check out our Facebook group where we chat WordPress, help each other get better at WordPress. Link in the description down below, join that free Facebook group. And with that out of the way, let's get into this Elementor tutorial. I'll see you in the screen capture. If you've been using Elementor for any amount of time, you know that the core of the plugin is these widgets on the left-hand side that you drag and drop into place. And there is a plugin called Elementor Add-ons and Widgets that gives you more of these widgets, and it's free. And you can use it with the free Elementor plugin as well, so you don't have to have the paid version. And to get this plugin, we're gonna head out to the dashboard. We'll go to Plugins, and then Add New. Search for Elementor add-ons and templates and the one we want is this one right here it has or it says it add-ons and widgets in the description but it's actually called add-ons and templates so that was my mistake but this plugin has a lot of great little widgets that add to the Elementor builder and it has a lot of great reviews a lot of installs compatible with the current version but if you're a little bit more paranoid you want to back up your site before you install a plugin which is always smart I've linked to a card above to help you figure out how to back up your site and how to schedule it if you need help with that. I'm going to install now because this is my demo site, so I'm not too concerned about that. Then I'm going to click on Activate. Now if we go back into an Elementor page builder, just open any new page or any existing page, click on Edit with Elementor. And it'll open the hybrid page builder. I'm just going to switch this to a full width template here. Then we're going to check out the new modules that have been added by this plugin. Go into the modules, and we have all the usual ones. And the ones that are new have a prefix of EAW, I believe. So it's got to scroll through here and find them. Ah, right, here they are. They have four pro ones. They're called Sizify now. They used to be called AEW, but now they're called Sizify widgets. And there's, like I said, four pro ones. And then these ones down here that are free with the plugin. And there's a post grid which allows you to basically list out a grid style of your blog posts. It's loading a little bit. There it is. Nice little grid style. This is the default, which looks pretty good already. But then you have a whole bunch of options that go with it. You can choose to display posts or pages or any other custom post type you have on your site. You can display posts from just certain categories. You can change the style from grid to just a list, which looks a lot like the grid, <laughs> just a different orientation. You can change the number of items it displays, the number of columns you have, the image, which is the featured image, how big it is, uh, whether you want to hide it or not. You can make it linkable, which is usually a link to the blog post itself. The title of the blog post can be customized. The metadata, which is the author name, the date, things like that. And the content itself, which is this part here. I can actually click into it, but the My Best Featured Image in blue here, that is part of the content. And that's a great little add-on widget that you have there. We scroll right down to the bottom again. Let's add a different one. The pricing table. A quick and easy pricing table. Let's let that load. We have a nice little pricing table. If we change this to a certain number of columns, let's actually remove that and put it into uh, three columns. Let's add three of those. It looks more like a pricing table. The second one in there and add a third one. Let all those load in there. Now you have a legitimate looking pricing table. All you have to do is customize the options a little bit and you have a pricing table, quick and easy. Another cool widget this has is a services block, which you can also get in the Elementor blocks. So it's not like this is somehow unique and amazing. 
but it, it just helps you create it a little easier because you don't have to go through the block. So you have a widget on the side to help you do it. So that's pretty handy. You've got some customization settings for that here. Another cool little add on this adds is a contact form. Of course, Elementor also has a contact form widget. This one's a little bit different. You might prefer using this one if you've used both of them before, but it adds a contact form there for you. And then you can also have a newsletter form, which is basically an opt-in. So here's an opt-in access key and list key are required. These would be of MailChimp or Sendinblue, which is the two it integrates with. And you have to get those access keys and list IDs from those areas. I've got a tutorial for MailChimp, how to find those. I've linked to in the card up above if you're using MailChimp and you want to use this plugin with this opt-in. You actually had to find the access key and list ID in that tutorial that I've linked to in the card up above. But you have an easy way to add an opt-in field or opt-in form. And the last thing in the free part or free version of the plugin, we have a user registration form, which is basically the WordPress registration form. That's what it ties into. And you can place it anywhere now. It used to be on the registration page. There would be a link saying register if you allow registrations on your site. Or if you have a customized theme, there might be a register button somewhere on your theme somewhere. But now you can place this registration form wherever you see fit. And those are the cool things that are added with this plugin. And there are some others as well that I'm going to cover in a different tutorial that add even more widgets to Elementor. But that is it for this plugin or the free version of this plugin anyway. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, get on the Elementor waiting list, get on the Facebook page, and hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. Click the bell icon. And next up is clicking one of the videos on the right-hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.